Hey guys, how's it going? This is Kyle from Gru's Reviews, and today I'm going to be reviewing Army of Darkness on Blu-ray. Now, i got to give a big shout out to Screen Factory, because without them this wouldn't be here right now. If you guys don't know who Screen Factory is, you can look them up on Facebook or go to ScreenFactory.com. They do a lot of older horror movies that you probably haven't seen or maybe haven't heard of. Now, <clears throat> Army of Darkness is very, very special to me. It's one of my favorite, if not the favorite, horror comedy movie in my collection. I remember watching this probably about 94, 95. It was on the Sci-Fi Channel. Uh, that was, you know, that was back in the day on the Sci-Fi Channel. Something Somebody really liked something, they would just play it until you hated it. But the first time that I actually watched the original <laughs> Army of Darkness, it was on Laserdisc, which if you guys don't know what a Laserdisc is, go to go to Google and just type in Laserdisc and see what pops up. It's It was ridiculous. Now they made, the way that they did this, the sound is perfect. The picture is nice and clear. It's actually 1080p. <clears throat> and this is the first Army of Darkness that I've owned where you get four different movies. They're all Army of Darkness, but there's the theatrical version, the director's cut, the international version, and the television version that I remember watching first. This is the only one that I've ever owned where it's like that. I've owned it on VHS, I've owned it on, you know, DVD. Uh, and before this, the only way that you could get it on Blu-ray was the Screwhead Edition, which it was just the original uh, theatrical version of Army of Darkness. So I really like the way that they did that. So you can see it's got it's got the nice little cardboard cover. Looks really nice. I like the uh, the artwork. Now one of the things about Scream Factory that I really like is <coughs> you guys can see that they have their own little artwork. They made for the Blu-ray, but if you take this out and you don't like their artwork, if you flip it around, it actually shows the original artwork for the movie when it came out on you know VHS or DVD or anything like that. And I thought that was pretty nifty, so if you're not a big fan of that one, you can always just flip it around and put that one up. Now... Getting back to the movie, it's packaged really nice. It, you know, I, I I really like the new artwork that they put on there. But inside, you get three different Blu-rays, and each one has a different cut on it. Like this is the theatrical version. And then you've got the director's cut. And this one right here is the international version and the television cut. Which I thought it was pretty cool at the way they did this. Because this one right here is actually the original artwork for the director's cut that came out on VHS. <clears throat> this one right here is the original artwork when it first came out. So, you know, they, they took their time and they actually did it right. I really like the way that they did it. It's really, really nice just kind of going back and seeing all the different versions of Army of Darkness. Um, now, Screen Factory's done a lot of movies, and I own probably about four or five of them. And they always do it, like, up to the standards of today. So, you'll always get 1080p, you'll always get really crisp sound. Like, it's it's not going to be too expensive, so you're not going to go out and spend 40 bucks for a movie. You'll probably spend 20 25 something like that. Which, at that price, I think it's worth it, because, you know, in just this one, you get four different movies of Army of Darkness, and all the versions are really nice, they're really crisp. Except for the television version. It looks like it was actually just pulled off the TV screen and thrown onto the Blu-ray, which I thought that was pretty cool. 
They did a really good job. I'm really happy with this. But if you guys haven't seen this yet, I'll definitely, definitely check it out. It's it's really funny. It's really good. Uh, this is the third one in the Evil Dead trilogy. And I would just recommend all of them to anybody that hasn't seen them. Or if you have, maybe you'd want to go out and buy it again. It's a really good movie. And I really think they did a good job with this. So... If you haven't seen it, go out, rent it, buy it, something. Well, thank you guys. That was my review for Army of Darkness. And this is Kyle with Gru's Reviews. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.